Welcome to an example on how to find the trace and determinant of a three by three matrix. We'll find the trace and determinant using the more formal definition of a trace and determinant, and then we'll also compare how we can find the trace and determinant using the eigenvalues of the given square matrix. The eigenvalues for the given square matrix are two and four, though the eigenvalue of two has a multiplicity of two. We've already found several eigenvalues for three by three matrices, but if you do want to see the work on how to find these eigenvalues, I've shown it here. In general, to find the eigenvalues of a square matrix, we need to solve the equation shown here, which is a determinant of the difference of lambda i and a equals zero. Again, here's a work that shows the eigenvalues are two and four, where the eigenvalue of two has a multiplicity of two. So one way to find the trace of a square matrix is to find the sum of the elements along the diagonal given by a sub one comma one, a sub two comma two, all the way through a sub n comma n. In our case, because we have a three by three matrix, the trace of matrix A would be the sum of these three elements here. So using this definition of the trace, we can say the trace of matrix A is equal to two plus three plus three, which equals eight. If the trace of a square matrix is also equal to the sum of the eigenvalues, and because we know the eigenvalues of the given matrix, we could also find the trace by summing the eigenvalues, which would be two plus two plus four, which of course is also equal to eight. And now let's find the determinant of the given three by three matrix. We've already found the determinant of several three by three matrices using the diagonal method as well as the cofactor method explained here. So to show how to find the determinant using the cofactor method, again, I've already set this up and shown the work here, so you may want to pause the video and review this. The determinant of the square matrix A is equal to 16. But another way to find the determinant using the eigenvalues is shown here, where the determinant of a square matrix is equal to the product of the eigenvalues. Or in this case, because we have a three by three matrix, we can find the determinant by finding the product of lambda sub one, lambda sub two, and lambda sub three. So if we have the eigenvalues, another way to find the determinant for matrix A would be to find the product of two, two, and four. Well, two times two times four is also 16, the value of the determinant. I hope you found this helpful.